Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick. This is my girlfriend, Wynn, and today we are reacting to Field of Dreams. Have you heard of this movie before? No. Okay. I've heard of this movie. I know it's considered a classic movie. There's a very famous quote from this movie that I've heard people say, and I was like, what is that from? People were like, oh, it's from Field of Dreams, but I've never seen this movie. What is it? You want me to tell you? Spoil the anything. quote is, build it and they will come. But let us know in the comments uh, if there's any other big classic movies uh, that you would have recommend for us to check out. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction that is up on Patreon, it's the best way to support the channel. Let's just get right into it. Field of Dreams. <laughs> I'm not sure how famous Kevin Costner was before this movie. Oh, no way. James Earl Jones is in this? Oh, Ray Liotta. Okay. The team were accused of throwing that series. Oh, did they really? I know so little about baseball. So I was put to bed at night to stories of Babe Ruth, Shoeless Joe Jackson. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. And when it came time to go to college, I picked the farthest one from home I could find. Oh, dang. I tried to like sitar music. And I met Annie. I don't even know what sitar music is. I feel so dumb. One was that she came from Iowa, and I had once heard of Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great photo. As long as we could. Almost a full afternoon. <laughs> In law issues. Married in June of 74. Dad died that fall. Oh, oh dang. So sad. Karen was born. Smell weird, but we loved her anyway. Then Annie got the crazy idea that she could talk me into buying a farm. And she did. They look like a happy family. Yeah. But until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. The voice? So peaceful. Yeah. By the end of this movie, I'm going to want to settle in a farm. I already want to. That's the quote I was talking about, right? But that no, way more suspenseful. Yet. I don't know what it means yet. Be a what? Is this a thriller type movie? No. War? No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, what was that? That yeah, was not her. That voice just now. What was it? I like Dad's crazy. You must have heard that. Sorry. Hey, come on into dinner. I'd be so worried I was going crazy if that happened. Either that or a ghost. I mean, does he see it everywhere or just out in the field? Stay away from that field. Field of dreams, more like field of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> if you build it, he will come. Who's he? If you build what, who will come? Yes, I have the same question. <laughs> Please clarify, mysterious voice. If you build it, he will come. If you build it. It won't leave him alone, man. I'd be so freaked out. Yeah. It's okay, honey. I'm, I'm just talking to the cornfield. And here was this big six-foot rabbit leaning up against the wall. Oh, that's from the movie Harvey. It was funny. Trust me, Karen, it is not funny. <laughs> Harvey is a great movie. What are you talking about, dude? It's not funny if you experience voices. That's true. Oh, I'll take her today. T yeah, you just want to get out. To He's going to leave her with the cornfield, though? What if the voice calls while you're gone? Yeah. Take a message. Deal with it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> he does not look like Good he wants luck. to joke about it. <laughs> You're hearing voices? No, 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 it's just that I heard the sound. A friend of a friend, my neighbor's buddy. Who's hearing voices? Ray is. <laughs> <laughs> the gossip will begin. Oh my god, the love. Why are they looking like that? It looks like they're all thinking he's crazy. You know that, or they know something. If you build it, he will come. All right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? Like, be more specific, please. What do I see look, look, now? Look. It's a baseball field. It's the voice of the baseball god telling him to make a baseball field. <laughs> you don't know, suppose this is like acid flashback, right? What's an acid flashback? I took acid. Oh, oh, as in the drug. <laughs> I build a baseball field. Joe Jackson will get to come back. <laughs> You're kidding. Is that too crazy? I mean, I don't know what I would think. I know it's totally nuts. I mean, shoes. <laughs> Dead. Oh, he's passed away. His ghost is gonna come back to play baseball? Scared to death, I'm turning into my father. I never forgave him for getting old. What does he mean by that? 
Like getting cynical, maybe? Maybe even heard voices too, but he sure didn't listen to them. No, so the voices, the voices in his head. Annie, I'm afraid of that happening to me. It's like the child inside of you, the dreamer, dies. Do you think I'm crazy? Yes. But do it. If you really feel you should do this, you should do it. That's such a perfect answer, right? She's a really good wife. Yeah. I mean, you already have an amazing family. That's a good dream right there, you know. But I get what he's saying about getting older. What the hell is he doing? He's thrown under his horn. It's like Noah building the ark. He. <laughs> Could he hit lifetime average 350? Yeah, he's like his dad talking to his daughter about baseball. Baseball, yeah. Through the World Series. What's through? How expensive would it be to build a baseball field? He hit 375 for the series and didn't commit one air. Huh? I can't. He said he's trying to lose. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Good daughter. Perfect daughter, perfect wife. He's a happy man. Yeah. What? Suspend. Means they never let him play the game again. Wait, yeah, that's why his ghost needs to come back and play. He was suspended for an unfair reason. Am I completely nuts? Who cares? <laughs> huh? Not completely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good baseball dude. It looks yeah, really good. Wow. wow. Well done. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, they built it. Is he going to come? Oh, dang. That's too bad. He built it, right? Yeah. Why didn't he come? Why is the voice not telling the truth? Unless it meant something else. I said we'll probably almost break even. Oh, dang. Oh, no, that That's is fine. not good. We used up all our savings on that field, Ray. Jeez. Oh. Can't keep the field? Makes it real hard to keep the farm. Is there another yeah. way that can generate some income? In a minute, Karen. There's a man up there in your lawn. Oh, oh, oh. No way. Come on, please. Oh, really? Is he a no? Is it a ghost? You're not nervous at all? Is it a ghost then? I mean, he passed away. It must be, right? Put up some coffee. Why don't you go on outside? She doesn't yeah, want to come see herself. Forget the coffee. You're awake enough. If he's already dead, are they not scared? I think there's something symbolic about this one. It's not 100% Little? I'm not sure. He looks surprised or confused, doesn't he? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not not the greatest player. <laughs> Sorry. So awkward in silence. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was good. Yeah. Act a little weird. Ray Kinsella, Joe Jackson. He's like, I know. Getting thrown out of baseball was like having part of me amputated. Mm. Must have crushed him. The smell of the ballpark in my nose, the cool of the grass on my feet. He had such real passion for the game. Don't we need a catcher? Not if you get it near the plate, we don't. Right. <laughs> so much pressure playing with a pro, you know? See if you can hit my curve. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can hit the curveball. <laughs> Oops. Nice. See this good, good hit? Yeah. The ball was hit deep. It's like, he seems so full of regret. What's with the lights? All the stadiums have them now. Oh, they didn't used to have them when he played? Oh, no way. Oh, he can't leave. I can't leave the field? Look, yeah. My wife, Annie. My daughter, Karen. Ma'am? It's like his ghost is attached to, oh, you know, no. where his love was, kind of. Are you a ghost? Karen. I mean, it's true. Yes. I don't blame her. <laughs> you look real to me. Well, then I guess I'm real. A real ghost. <laughs> I have no idea where this story is going to go. Yeah. I come back again? Always. I built this for you. Can't imagine how he feel hearing that. Yeah. There were eight of us. It really mean a lot to them. Yeah. Oh, I can bring Fritz team too. That's crazy. He can only come at night though. Right? Because he's a ghost. Is this heaven? No. I don't know the answer. It's Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> but for him, maybe his heaven is baseball, right? Yeah, for him it is. We're keeping this field. 
Bet your ass we are. Like he should sure just write out the, the time they need to make the decision. If you sell now, my partners will give you more than fair price. You can walk away. I don't think they're going to give fair price. I know a lot about farming. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, I know yeah. a lot more than you think I know. Just kick him out. Plow under your major crop. What's a crop? <laughs> Excuse us. It's father daughter time. That's sacred. I mean, I'm trying to bail him out and he goes off to watch television. He used to be. Mm, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look. Oh, come. Wow. It's crazy. How many ghosts are going to come back? They look all like surprised and confused. Yeah. But this is during the day, so they can come anytime. You know what I mean? What if other people see them? How are they going to react? It looks so fun. Yeah, this is heaven. Come on. Watch Joe. Watch his feet. Nice. You to run like that against Detroit. I don't want 20 games. Give it up, will you? <laughs> muscle bound shirt. Oh, yeah. At least I got muscle. Trash talk is part of the game. Asshole. Pitch. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lady present. <laughs> yeah, you have audience. It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> she got popcorn. <laughs> She's adorable. I thought you two were going to watch some game. Yeah, they don't notice yeah, it. They don't they notice don't it. See. More like a practice. Oh, they're really going to think he's lost it. See, there's only eight of them, so they can't play a real game. Who them? Them, them. <laughs> them, them. <laughs> Karen, honey, uh, what are you watching? Baseball man. I mean, kids don't lie, okay? I wonder if it's like if you don't have like a, that childhood hope in you or belief, you can't see them, you know? I don't think it's very polite to try to make other people feel stupid. That's not polite to say that. You don't see these people? Not funny, any. As if you have a <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> <it>. She laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe only when you believe and you have passion. Yeah. And you can see them. It's like you need faith. They see it. Feel bad for them. <laughs> 68 years since I wore this uniform, still fits me like a glove. Because <laughs> you're a ghost, you don't change. That means I haven't had a cigarette in what? 18 years. Can you give him a cigarette? Ray! Dinner! Dinner! <laughs> dinner! <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. This movie makes me want to have okay. ghost friends. <laughs> That's a Wizard of Oz reference, so you have to, I have to show you that. That is so cool. Yeah. It is. Ease is pain. Oh, no. What, what the? What now? Why is the voice creepy? The ghosts are not creepy. The voice is creepy. I didn't understand. What? Ease is pain. This is not a dream of his. What the hell, what the hell does that mean? Ease is pain. Who's pain? What pain? His dad, right? His dad is in pain? That's your thing that he care about. Please on his dad. Thanks a lot. So now he achieved this, this I feel like he achieved the dream of his, so he's gonna have another one coming, right? I feel like it's leading somewhere, but I don't know where. I'm talking about banning books again. The Wizard of Oz, Diary of Anne Frank. Who would ban those books? Voice is banned. You don't have to build a football field now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Shoeless Joes? I don't think so. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's his father. This is a very non-specific voice you have out there, and he's starting to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> I like her so much. Me too. I'm fly. <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> She's amazing. Mutt, Mutt and filth like, like this has, has no, no place, place in Oh my no. gosh. Oh my gosh. And she's getting get applause? What is wrong with these people? I like these her pains. <laughs> The classic novel about the 1960s. It's pornography! No, no. Excuse me? No. It's author, Mr. Mann. He is sick! Terrence Mann. What's wrong with these people? I think he's a pervert. He's probably a communist, too. There's always, there's always people like this, I yeah. swear. Yeah, In any time of history. Wrong. The mongrelization of the races and, and disrespect... <laughs> <laughs> She'd be great in reaction videos. Yes, so. <laughs> country have been banning this man... S-H-I-T. <laughs> Stop writing books as he masturbates. 
experienced even a little bit of the 60s, you might feel the same way. That's just a great speech. Yeah. I experienced the 60s. Did doubtful. You? Did doubtful. You? I think you had two 50s and moved right on into the 70s. <laughs> Plowed under his corn and build a baseball field. So what? The weirdo. <laughs> She's so nasty. Yeah. He is not a book burner, you Nazi cow. <laughs> <laughs> These audience like, huh? Do <laughs> you want to step outside? Bye. Oh, really? <laughs> I got a fight? <laughs> Who thinks freedom is a pretty darn good thing? <laughs> <laughs> Stand up to the kind of censorship that they had under Stalin. She's great. She is just great, man. Yeah. Can you go home? You can go, go home. Go home now. and cry. Yes. Mean it. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her so much. <laughs> Time to do some research. That's smart. They teach kids how to resolve their conflicts peacefully. No way. That's a good cause. He wrote a story 26 years ago. His name John Kinsella. My father. Wait, really? What's it got to do with baseball? You drive. Well, his dad was a fan of baseball, so yeah, that's something, yeah. right? He knew everybody. He did everything. I mean, the guy hung out with the Beatles. Dang, oh, dang. Wow. So, in order to ease his pain, you're supposed to take him to a ball game. To a game they have in their magical field. Building a field, that was weirder. Five, ten percent weirder. Um, <laughs> and you can't take off for Boston while we're going broke in Iowa. Oh, you just stuck him here. Why can't the boys send somebody out? <laughs> Sleep in the car, I'll beg for food. No, no, this is too much. I think he has to do it. Something's gonna happen to the game. And I gotta be there with Terrence Mann to find it out. What? I drank last night. You arrived Fenway with Terrence Mann. Oh, really? That a coincidence? That's a sign. I was eating a hot dog. dog. What? I had the same drink. Really? Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. That's a sign. See? Okay, that's all she needed to hear. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Hi, I'm Ray Kinsella. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's nervous. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stupid, put your hands up and get in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best yeah, one. Yeah, go with that one. I don't know if any leaves to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you nothing. <laughs> 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 the story that don't have a chicken in the window is his. Is that correct? Though? Hopefully he didn't just take your money. Is it it, really? I think so. But how is he going to explain himself here? Who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's James Earl Jones. Sir, my name is Ray Kinsella. Uh, oh. I've been hearing voices. I don't give interviews. I'm no longer a public figure. Oh, there'd be oh, a lot of people that yeah, like, bother yeah. now. One minute, please. Please. Come on. I don't do causes anymore. This isn't a cause. It's a baseball game. It opens itself up for a few seconds to show you what's possible. Oh, my God. Look how happy he is. Back to the 60s. Wait Back. a second. What is what? that? What is that? Back while you still can. I thought he's happy. He's making fun of him. Peace, love, dope. Get the hell out of here. She, he seems so cynical now. Go bad for that old man. Yeah. He's going to just go in again. He's going to scream at you. Is he pretending he has a gun in his pocket? He's going to do what he was practicing. Is he yeah. really going to yeah. do this? No. Oh, this is so funny. the hell is that? <laughs> Gun, what do you think it is? It's your finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see it. <laughs> hey, I just need you to come with me for a little while. And... He has a gun. Oh, no. I'm going to beat you with a crowbar. Oh. <laughs> 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 can't do that. <laughs> no, no, they're not really scared. <laughs> Fist. Not anymore. You are kidnapping me. Inviting. Baseball game. Red Sox A's. What? <laughs> Something will happen there. I'll find out when it does. I'll buy hot dogs. You're seeing a whole team of psychiatrists, aren't you? <laughs> I'm the least crazy person I have ever known. That's what a crazy person would say, though. Want a cup of coffee? Want some cookies? <laughs> <laughs> 
at Ebbets Field and how sad you felt when they tore it down? I never said that. Mm-hmm. He did? I don't even recall thinking that. He's lying. He did. Weird. The feeling is mutual. I swear to God, I will never bother you again. Wow. Wow, okay. Politics in this. So what do you want? My privacy. No, I meant, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> movie is hilarious, I swear. Two. <laughs> go the distance. Oh, no, he had voice again. What does that mean, go the distance? Go the distance. Does he have to run out on the field? Don't tell me. You have really high IQ to deal with this voice. You didn't see that? See what? Huh? Oh. So only him seeing Yeah. I guess you didn't have to be here. Whenever you want to go, we can go. Fine, let's go. Wait, really? What did he figure out? I don't know. He seems a little bit intrigued, though, right? Got another message, didn't you? Think I'm crazy. I already think you're crazy. <laughs> Said the man's done enough. Leave him alone. Oh. Dang. Dang. Why is he not telling him? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, we were the only ones who saw it. Did you hear the voice, too? Oh, wait, no yeah. way, really? Did you hear it? Go the distance. What? Oh, my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. What do we, what do, we do when we find him? How the hell am I supposed to know that? <laughs> <laughs> How did I both hear the voices? I don't know. It's like the voice is like starting a movement or something, right? You got like a road oh. trip now, okay. That's great. Is it because they have the same uh, passion or goals? I don't know. Maybe... He was kind of a broken man at this stage. No, no, I, no, I did. Semi kidnapped. Someday explain all this to me, okay? I'll try. What happened? Oh. Why didn't you tell him? Annie. What are they losing the house? Annie you got no choice in the matter. They're probably losing the field. Yeah. She's so supportive. We're looking for an ex baseball player named Archibald Graham. They like detectives. Yeah. Well, that's Dr. Graham. Dr. Graham. Oh. Dr. Graham is dead. He died. Wait, really? Ticket to the ball game found their way into the child's pocket. What a good man. A good writer. So are you. <laughs> she read your stuff. What are they supposed to do? And maybe he can come back as a ghost and play. Carried an umbrella. Really said he used it to beat away his lady admirers. <laughs> Blue hands. Dark walked by. He by one. Hmm. Shady finances. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Do you know you're missing? Shoot. Because he just left, right? Yeah, I guess. Why is he left? What did I tell him? Oh. I can't explain. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on a special mission. Issues. Did he just time travel? No, I don't think that's the kind of movie. Time travel? It's how crazy. Oh, isn't that the guy? They describe him like that. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Graham? That's a ghost. Right for you. I jumped up like I was uh, sitting on a spring. So eager to play. This close to your dream. And I watched them brush past you like a stranger in a crowd. Oh. Just don't recognize the most significant moments of our lives while they're happening. I didn't realize that that was the only day. That sucks. Just stare down a big league pitcher. Just as he goes into his wind up. <laughs> they can make you know something he does. <laughs> can't play with Joe, right? Maybe. To feel the tingle in your arm as you connect with the ball. Stretch your double into a triple and flop face first. He had that same passion yes, that Joe yeah, has, you know? Say that. That's my wish, Reconcilla. Come to the field and play. I can take you. I can't leave just... Oh. Just visit. I really think you're supposed to come with us. No. Really? I want anything to change the world. If you got in a hit on a state in baseball. That's true. Oh, it's almost like his real calling was to be a doctor. And if he, it's because he couldn't fulfill his dream, he helped way more people, maybe. They own the paper now, and he says, if we don't sell to them, they're going to foreclose. Oh, come on. I'm going to Iowa with you. Oh, that's okay, so cool. Okay, okay. We're coming home. He can see the, 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 the baseball players. Yeah, I'm sure he can, yeah. Who's this hitchhiker? Well, if it's okay with you, I think I'll just ride along a while. I play baseball. That's not a coincidence. Uh, I know. Hop in. It's meant to be. 
Who is this kid? Is that a person or a ghost? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm Archie Graham. Graham? What? You know, finding you a job. They haven't done that for years. <gasps> That's a ghost? That was in the 20s. Wait, wait, so was that him when he was younger? I don't know his first name, I just know he's Dr. Graham. He never made it as a ball player, so he tried to get his son to make it for him. Mm. Had to be like eating vegetables or taking out the garbage. I feel like a lot of parents do that. Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Oh, it's not my fault you wouldn't play catch with your father. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't flip <flame> him. <laughs> After a while, I wanted to come home, but I didn't know how. I made it back to the funeral. Oh, they like they haven't seen each other. That too. sucks. That really sucks. So that person, he really need to see his dad. I think I so. I feel like he go all the journey to see his dad. He said I could never respect a man whose hero was a criminal. It was Joe Jackson. It's all connecting now, though. Then why did you say it? You just said it to hurt his yeah. father. Never met my wife. Oh, that's too bad. Now I know what everybody's purpose here is. What? Hi. They're playing. You see? Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Terry. <laughs> They're having a game. There are more people. Yeah. Full. Wow. Great. Welcome back. They see. He can see. Yeah. He can see. We brought another team out with us so we can have some real games. That's definitely okay. None of us could stand a son of a bitch when we were alive, so we told him to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> are you Graham? Yes, sir. Oh, how do they know? All right, we'll go warm up. We didn't interview him, did we? No. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes. Now see how he does. Come on, get a hit. <laughs> it's him, it's him when he was younger. Right, really, really? Oh. He tried to hit him. <laughs> what do you throw at the kid for? If he gets hit, he gets to walk to the base for free. He winked at me. Don't wink, kid. <laughs> I see that fastball. Oh, dang, no. How about a warning? Sure. Watch out you don't get killed. <laughs> <laughs> so look for low and away. Right. That's cool. He's looking out for him. Batter, batter, batter. Come on, Arch. Just take batter. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that a good hit? Oh, no. He's out. Oh, he made it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they play all night, all day. They can't get enough. Oh, no. oh my gosh! This guy is so perfectly cast. He just looks annoying. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> they see. Yeah. It's not a fantasy, Mark. They're real. Who is real? Use your imagination. Hit him. Ray, Ray, you, Ray you have no money. And you have no soul. Both Ray, do you realize how much this land is worth? Yeah. I mean, from an art of people perspective, I can understand. Don't have to sell the farm. Karen, please, just wait. What she have to say? What does she have to say? Yeah. People will come from all over. Take a vacation, see? Did she have a dream? And want to pass, like buying a ticket. All right, all right, all right, all right, this is fascinating. <laughs> he would be so confused, you know? People will come, Ray. Just sign the paper. No, don't sign it. Come on. Now watch the game dip themselves in magic waters. He's such a writer. People will come, Ray. You're broke, Ray. You come this far on faith, you can't give up now. I like this scene so much. Like two sides, you had to choose. America is ruled by like an army of... He's more convincing, for sure. You will lose everything. You will be evicted. Don't give up on them. Not signing. Oh, you're crazy. Yes. <laughs> Can't do it, pal. I mean, Annie. I love the wife. Not nothing. And you turn your daughter into a damn spencer Get your hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh my gosh. Is she breathing? Should I get the car? She looks so pale. It's a doctor. It's a doctor. Oh no, he can't go past the field. So he has to choose again, like in the past, you know, be a oh, baseball oh, player yeah, yeah. or a doctor. So he chose, he chose to be the doctor. Yeah. So the fate didn't change for him, right? She fell. 
Did he see? He sees. Thank you, Doc. No, sir. Yeah, you gave him his dream. Oh, God, you can't go back. You can't go back, can it's you? It's all right. I'm sorry. It's all right. Did you make a decision? And he got all he needed. Good work, Doc. Just going, Doc. Don't miss you, Doc. He's not the rookie anymore. He's like a respected hero. He sees. When did these ball players get here? Oh, now he can see everyone. Yeah, because now he believes, right? I Is guess. Is it because he has hope? Or oh, connected to his uh, niece? You were good. Oh, that means so much to him. Do not sell this farm, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he see though. I don't know if it's because the doctor came through the field. I don't know exactly. Hey, do you want to come with us? Huh? To the afterlife? No. No, not you. Him. He's dead? He's a ghost? I gave an interview. What What interview? What are you talking about? Oh, see, he does remember. He does. What a story it'll make. Shoeless Joe Jackson comes to Iowa. So he's going to write again? Are you going to write about it? Well, you better write about it. That's what I do. You can rediscover your calling. You better come back. You better not disappear forever into the cornfield, you know? You know, I don't know how he can go to the cornfield with them if yeah, he's not dead. Yeah, if he's alive. I want a full description. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good writer, don't worry. I like how careful he is. <laughs> He look adorable. <laughs> it's so funny. I like how he's oh, not fuck. scared at all. He's dead. I don't know. Or they're letting him go to the other side. I don't know. Maybe. What are you grinning at, you ghost? Yeah. If you build it, he will come. His father. It's my father. Yeah, yeah. his father. He's his pain. Go the distance. Everything was about his dad. It was you. No, Ray. It was you. Just wanted to thank you folks for putting up this field. He doesn't know that his son? No. Very nice meeting you. Yeah. Come on up. And what is he going to say? Yeah. Is, is this heaven? It is, Ray. It's Iowa. Is there a heaven? I don't know if he can tell you. It's the place dreams come true. This is heaven for them. So then this is heaven, yeah. Maybe this is heaven. Good night, Ray. Good night, John. He didn't get to say sorry to his dad, though. Yeah. Dad, you want to have a catch? I'd like that. Coming. Oh, is that all the people showing up? No way. So many people coming for Dang. real. Are they all ghosts or just a human? No, I think they're real people. I think it's mean that he inspired people to follow their dream, right? I think or... so. I mean, I don't know. I think it. I think it meant a lot of things. I think. Like at the end, like him kind of like looking around and, you know, saying like, this is heaven. I think it was kind of like the writer, the quote they're saying earlier in the movie is like sometimes, not the writer, the doctor was saying sometimes you look back and, you know, like you don't notice the most significant parts of your life, you know. <laughs> What's happening? I need the tissues for this one. <laughs> oh. That was a really beautiful movie, though. Yes. That was really, really good. You know. Like, I think, like, you look at the main character, and then you look at, um, like, the writer, Terrence Mann. Like, I don't think the main character, like, he had some regrets in his life, like, obviously with his father and, like, connecting with um, his family and things like that. But I think... Like, by building the field, he was able to kind of write something in his life 
um, that he wasn't able to and also realize like how precious what he had was and then he also like through that journey like met the writer and then he was someone who like spent his whole life doing all these really good things you know being activists doing all this good writing helping people but he kind of given up you know and you can understand that, right? Like society just turns to crap. You sacrifice so much. You just kind of like step out of that and give up on being a writer. But it's almost like that brought him back to what his true calling is to be a writer. And then, you know, in connection, they meet the doctor who always had that regret, you know, of never making it in baseball. But of course, his true calling was to be a doctor, right? Which is like a beautiful thing. But he kind of got a little moment in his life where he just got to play that game he got to you know wink down at the pitcher and then he also got that recognition uh, from shoeless jackson right so was the ending the twist that shoeless jackson was the one who was whispering the voice but the whole purpose of it was to kind of bring his father back no he i think when they see it's like it was you and then shoeless jackson say no it was you so the void was himself Oh, okay. I, I I interpreted that as like Shoeless Jackson was kind of like, no, you were the one who did it by like following and like doing these things. Uh, I thought I took it like he was the boy with himself calling for him. Maybe. Like maybe it's just something internally. You know, like like you were saying during the movie, I think you could definitely look at this movie as like literally. Like it's obviously there's like supernatural things going on, but then you could also look at it symbolically as like an internal drive or like intuition that sometimes you have to follow and that's like your inner voice that's way more important than maybe that logical side of your brain that side that's focused on just you know the realities of life like money and a mortgage but i i loved it i mean i i, I definitely connected emotionally <laughs> to the movie like it was really touching on a lot of different levels and i just loved the characters i loved his family his wife was so awesome like she was awesome and yeah. hilarious too he has such a he has such a beautiful family yeah yeah like his wife is so supportive and i don't think like in the movie they, they make her she and what he see and he what he hear and have the same kind of dream you know but yeah. i feel like it's a a symbolic way of showing how supportive she is a wife to yeah. support him for his dreams and to do what he want to do yeah because i don't think they can see even his daughter you know i mean at first it was just him but then i think by going along with it and like i said like you can kind of look at it symbolically as like you know if you're just supportive to the ones you love then your reward like your faith is rewarded right just just like the writers, like Terrence Mann, like if he didn't believe and go along with it, I don't think he would have heard the voice himself. I feel like that's what they, they meant, like Shoeless Jackson, where he's like, no, it was you. Because it's like, yes, um, you know, like there was a voice, but you chose to respond to it and to follow that voice. And that's why you're rewarded within, like your faith was rewarded well, maybe that. until that moment. One thing I don't know is the, the writer, man. Yeah. Terrence, he, he's a ghost. If he died. I, I don't know. I I don't know. I I feel like no, he wasn't, because they were saying like he was missing, and I don't feel Is like it because he died. You know, possibly when he, before they come back from uh, the game. When he come back, did he die then? And show up in front of the the car. Maybe he's a ghost. That that could be something that happens. I feel like not. I feel like he's alive, but. Um, he was given this special privilege because he kind of followed so he, this calling. So he just go to the afterlife as a human, a person. I think he maybe not. Maybe it, maybe the he way did they die. Film that is like he disappeared, like the ghost. Kind of like the ghost, yeah. So is he able to come back? I mean, I that's a good point. I don't know. Back. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it is a little bit like Sixth Sense, like he was dead maybe all he, along. Maybe he didn't even know he was dead. Yeah. Yeah, did, I mean, he honestly the, might be. Did the uncle, like the the brother, see him? Is he I think so, and that was also an interesting thing too. I don't know exactly why. I think you're right. I think it's because maybe he was concerned for his niece, and that concern, like that, you know, because he seemed, you know, a little bit more preoccupied with things like money and finances. But maybe in that moment of panic, he panicked himself and was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, you know, someone that I actually care about, my family is 
is hurt, and that's why then after that he was able to see the rest of the players and stuff like that. Or if it's because the doctor chose to cross the field, I'm not exactly sure. But it's just, I don't know, it's just really beautiful. It was really, really good movie, like really charming, really funny. There's kind of a mystery element that kept me hooked that I didn't expect at all from this movie, and it just had so many like meaningful themes and, you know... Yeah, it's really meaningful, a beautiful movie. Yeah. And I wish that... I know it's impossible, but it'd be cool to be able to see your, your family. Yeah. Yeah. It would. And to, like, you know, make those things right in your life. Um, and I feel like that's one of the big lessons is just, like, recognizing those important moments and you know not letting those pass you by not you know living with regrets because you know obviously it, it can't turn out like this movie um, after someone's actually gone but okay. that's a big lesson though because I feel like almost everybody like would you know you don't know how Like how important a moment is in your life until yeah. you missed it. Sometimes, like you can't go back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But yeah, that that's a really uh, big lesson from this movie. I think. Yeah. That's what makes it so beautiful. And I'm glad we watched. I am too. I mean, I love. I love. I think this is an excellent movie. I absolutely loved it. Um, and it's just really like this is such a great like original story such a beautiful story so engaging it didn't need any fancy anything to keep you hooked the whole time and just ended in such a powerful way but that is field of dreams uh let us know <laughs> let us know. i feel like i've been missing out on this great movie this whole time but let us know if you have any other recommendations for movies like this in the comments down below as always the full reaction is on patreon if you want to watch along with us and support the channel thank you so much for watching and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero